Pashinyan, we are very close to a humanitarian crisis in Nagorno-Karabakh. Baku does not comply with the ceasefire regime and was not going to comply with the agreements reached in Moscow, representative of the Armenian Defense Ministry. Armenian Ministry of Defense says Talish is not under control of Azerbaijani army anymore after regroup of Armenian forces. Clashes are ongoing in Karachavar direction, a plane was destroyed on this axis, Armenian Ministry of Defense. Congress ups pressure on Trump over Armenia, Azerbaijan, threat to suspend aid to Baku, House Res. With 56 sponsors, Dem lawmakers protesting with Armenian Americans, Trump admin. Largely silent, Turkey and Russia roll on rise. Footage from Merdinli confirms that Azeri forces have successfully crossed the lines on a third front. Overnight the relatively stable tension in the Nagorno-Karabakh-Azerbaijani conflict zone remained unchanged. In the morning, Azerbaijani armed forces resumed military operations in the southern, northern, northeastern and eastern directions, accompanied by active artillery fire. Armenian Foreign Minister holds a meeting in Moscow with the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs, Russia, USA, France. Two suspected militants killed in clash with Russian security forces in Grozny, two Rosgard troopers and one policeman killed. Armenian Ministry of Defense names 17 more soldiers Kia in Karabakh. Armenian Army, Azerbaijani Army shelled Martuni, Askarin and Martekert last night. Iranian forces this morning reportedly shot down a UAV near Parsabad, on the Azerbaijan-Iran border. The drone was reportedly an Israeli-made IAI Harap. Katerov, four militants killed in Oktyabrsky district of Grozny came from a foreign country, were preparing attacks in Chechnya. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation is concerned about information about the transfer of militants of terrorist groups from the Middle East to the conflict area in Nagorno-Karabakh. Russian Defense Minister Shaigu called the Turkish Defense Minister and expressed concern about the transfer of militants from the Middle East to the conflict zone in Nagorno-Karabakh. Russian charter Airbus A330A GOT departed Yerevan Armenia en route to Moscow. Director of the FSB Bordnikov convened a meeting of the Counterterrorism Committee on North Caucasus. Pompeo, we call on Armenia and Azerbaijan to abide by the ceasefire. Swedish Foreign Minister, we are concerned about the violation of the ceasefire in Azerbaijan and the crisis cannot be solved militarily. Minsk Group calls on Azerbaijan and Armenia to return to ceasefire. French Presidency, sending Turkish mercenaries to Karabakh is not an, an impartial act. Armenian Foreign Affairs, we are ready to resume the settlement process, and the solution needs mutual concessions. Russian Security Council Secretary Patrushev held talks with Armenian Foreign Minister in Moscow. Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense released video from Hadrat area.
Ali Başkomandan Prezident İlham Əliyevin rəhbərliyi altında Hadrut qəsəbəsi düşmən işğalından azad edilib. Swedish Foreign Minister Anne Lind urged Turkey to leave northeast Syria in line with the EU's position. In return, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu said that it's unacceptable to use the word urge, which, according to him, means warn. Apartment in Turtur when it was hit in Azerbaijan. Armenian Ministry of Defense representative, possible the most intensive clashes at Northern Axis today. Armenian Ministry of Defense representative, Azerbaijani Army apply new tactic, make a photo with a flag at settlement and retreat. Pashinyan blames Turkey for violation of ceasefire in Karabakh, says until Turkey changes its position, Azerbaijan will not back down. Turkey supports Aliyev's idea of holding quadrilateral talks on Karabakh, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Russia, Turkey, Erdogan's spokesman said.